starting up. Hello. Good afternoon, Brian. Hi. <coughs> it's right. the Brian Show. It is. Sorry, I'm Brian. Hi, Brian. Hello. All right, well. Same to you live. I'm sure I'm watching it. Should be. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that we are set up on this side. Okay. And I'll get a window up for you real quick. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. All right. Um, well, it's going to be a little different today, I'm sure, as most people can already tell. Uh, once again, not a lot of books books on the wall today. We got DC stuff again, and you only DC stuff. That's that's definitely what's happening. But it's it's a good thing that we got the DC stuff because new things are happening. All right, and welcome to the future. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, I should hopefully be able to give you a monitor you can see now. Let me okay. Slide this I can, over. I could crack into my uh, front bed bolt bolt and uh, green Gatorade. There. New year, new bottle. There we go. Let me get that up. There it is. Um, or it's not working. Anymore. I want to just grab it. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. Well, either way, people can definitely hear you. So we can go ahead and I just we can can't either see what talk about what's going on, or we can get rid of that. So we're doing stuff a little differently today because. <coughs> 2021 and we don't have a lot of stuff and so other reasons so we're doing a little mini Facebook live thing here and then I'm gonna talk about what DC stuff we have right now we're gonna talk a little bit about um, kind of what happened what's happening with the other stuff and then today at 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Uh, there we go. And over on our Twitch channel, we're going to go. We're going to go have a deep dive into this book and all of that. So we're going to be all sparklery with it. Heavy, heavy, full spoilers coming like reading over on of Twitch. The book, uh, showing you pictures. All sorts of stuff. So right now, um, the kind of idea is that, you know, fingers, toes, and other things you want to cross, uh, that tomorrow we will be getting in the rest of the week's, this week's stuff, and then on Friday it will be available for purchase. At least that's the current kind of thought process for that. So if we get the stuff tomorrow, we'll have it out on the shelf for Friday. <coughs> if we don't get it tomorrow and we get it on Friday, it will then be out on the shelf on Saturday. And if it comes in on Saturday, we'll have it out on the shelf on Monday. Or we'll just have it out on the shelf for next Wednesday. So yeah, so right now, DC stuff. Everyone else in the future. So. Um, All right, here, give me one second, Brian. I'm gonna see if I can get can she you. Can she kind of continue to try to do some stuff? So uh, I just wanna get you a monitor so you can see what you're doing. Technical stuff so I could maybe see people's comments. Because I'm sure, so I mean, everyone's been making comments. There's no comments, son. <laughs> I can see all the comments. There's nothing yet. Um, we have comments from Harvey the Rabbit, um, Sue Richards, um, Claude Rains has also been making a couple comments. Alright. So. so, DC Books. 
So these right here, this is the final issue of Dark Knight's Death Metal. Shiny main cover. So the end of Death Metal, which the end of that book sets up um, Future State, but also what DC is doing in March for their Infinite Frontier rebranding, reallocating, relaunch, reboot. Re, re everything, basically. Realignment. Can't you? A whole lot of extra stuff. Uh, yeah. What's up? Corey Crosby wouldn't need two copies of Reckless, would he? No, but the person. Yes, the other person has. Klauser to should get two. So, how many Future State Klauser, books Klauser there are? Two copies There's one, Klauser. two, three. Okay. So does Crosby. Okay, Crosby only Four, needs the one. Five, six. There are six Future State books. Um, at least, most of them have at least two bearing covers. Um, three of them have a blank cover. So There are a total of six Future State books six set for release this week. Uh, or we could potentially uh, include some other stuff in there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and... All right, so um, now that we've got that set up, Brian, I'm gonna go ahead and step in here just so we can do a full update, uh, just to let everyone know as far as what's going on this week with books. Um, so like Brian did say earlier, uh, we are just down to the DC stuff this week. So uh, this is the only Black Label book that came out. Everything else, um, like Generation Shattered and all of these sweet books right here. Um, are available currently. He doesn't like my spacing. Uh, I wanted to slide it all in so we could actually see everything in together. Um, so basically, uh, the death metal books were what came out this week, um, as well as the first six offerings from Future State. Um, but the main thing I did want to let everyone know is that uh, we have heard back, and as of yesterday, our UPS tracking was updated. So like Brian said, we should be receiving our new shipments, uh, or our new books, from Diamond uh, tomorrow, which means uh, the standard processing time is gonna apply to them. So we will be available, uh, we're hoping Friday, when we open at noon, to have all other titles available. So currently, all DC stuff is up now, including Death Metal, uh, the first of the Future State books, um, and then um, we're gonna have, I wanna say, cause yeah, we've got the Flash, Harley Quinn, Batman books up, Metropolis, Superman and Metropolis, the Swamp Thing, and Wonder Woman. Um, so those are all basically what's come out so far, as well as the Generation Shattered. And we did get a handful of some DC Collected stuff in, which I'll let Brian go through um, uh, for a little bit more detail. But the main thing is we did really want to encourage people to join us at 6 p.m. tonight uh, over on twitch.tv. Uh, slash Arcane Comics. Uh, like Brian said, we're going to be doing a full spoiler reviews of Death Metal 7. So we'll go into kind of how this event concludes, how it's going to set up everything else. Uh, we'll talk about the full slate of Future State releases this week, as well as the Generation Shattered book. Um, if you're reading Dreaming Waking Hours, too bad. I'm not going to spoil that because we didn't read it. Um, we, and by we, I mean Brian, spent all of his, all of his <coughs> time last night and this morning, getting caught up on all of this. So, uh, so yeah, we'll be going through everything. Uh, if you want to know what's happening in Future State and you don't care about spoilers, join us. Join us at uh, around 6 p.m. over on Twitch.tv/ArcaneComics, and we will have a uh, full, full review of all of these items. Um, and maybe even answer some questions if you join us. Uh, certainly be showing off some of the interior artwork as well as maybe going over what what is after. So after Future State is Infinite Frontier and beyond. We'll be getting into that all coming up over on Twitch later today. Um, but I, I did want to just go ahead and make sure everyone had some, uh, some up-to-date news as far as what is going on with the rest of our books for this week. So we're hoping to see those um, tomorrow in the shop, 
and they will be available for you in your box if you're a subscription customer for us or on the shelf Friday when we open at noon. So just give us a couple day and a half and we should have those ready for you. Uh, if you have any questions at all, just give us a call here at the shop, 206-781-4875. Scott is on the phone now, so we will politely ask you to uh, hold for just a second. Uh, email us, info at arcanecomicbooks.com. Yeah. Or you can always at Arcane Comics on all social media. Uh, just get at us over here. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pass this off to Brian now as he talks a little bit more about the releases for the week. He can adjust the wall as he needs to. I just wanted to make sure we had enough spacing here. Um, but in any case, uh, thank you as always for joining us. It is going to be a little bit truncated today because we're looking forward to seeing you over on twitch.tv slash arcane comics in a couple hours. So I'll see you then. And we're doing it at 6 instead of directly after this because the store is still open for a couple hours and we don't want to spoil it for people in store. Because we're, you know, not total jerks about that. We want to talk about comic books, but we want to talk about it at a time and a place where we're not going to spoil it for other people. <laughs> we're not those people. We're not those people. So, Death Metal 7... Final issue, uh, kind of <coughs> sets up, kind of gives a little kind of hints of where they're going. Uh, there are three different um, the Batman Who Laughs variants. Uh, so. This one is the Stanley Lau Art Germ variant. This is the Finch. That's the Finch variant. The Finch variant. Here's the Ratio variant that we do have left. That's a gorgeous Jay Lee cover. And that's the Jay Lee variant. And then that we have one of the ratio variants. Scott, do you know who's trying to ratios on those death metals again? Uh, Doug. Uh, Monk. Monk. Monch. 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 It is that M, M O E N C H, I think. Yep. Yeah. I think. So, if you want the ratio Doug variant, Monch. I'll try to like, yeah. not well, get a. When we like, call this. Oh. It, so, ratio so variant is $35. But yeah. any of the normal covers um, is uh, five nine. So also a happy new year to everyone out, everyone out there. So kind of going over what we're sort of doing. We don't have anything beyond BC stuff this week. We're doing a short little stream, kind of briefly covering DC stuff. And then at 6 p.m. Okay. over on our Twitch channel, um, I, we're like going to do something special where we're going to go over what Death Metal yeah, 7 is, what it talks about, and we're also going to talk about this week's Future State books. And we're also covering uh, Generations Shattered, which is the first of two uh, one-shots. There is Generation Shatters, and then next month, at the end of next month, there is the Generations Forged one-shot. So, Generations Shattered doesn't seem to be totally connected to what Death Metal was or what Feature Stage is doing, but it's most likely going to be more of what DC is doing post March. And this Generation Shattered was also um, has a teaser story uh, from Detective Comics uh, 1027, which you don't really have to have read that story. They basically give you all the information you do need from that part in this book. But there is a little 
couple pages things from that issue. Um, so then is that the only non-detrimental, non-feature state, non-generation generated single issue is the only black label book. It is the Dreaming Waking Hours number six. So that's so during all of DC's future state stuff, there is still going to be all the black label books. So anything that's from the Sandman universe. That, that's still going on, and then Batman Catwoman is still going on, Strange, uh, Strange Adventures is still going on, the uh, Batman White Knight Harley Quinn book is still going on, so those haven't been cancelled for the two months. Uh, we have three collected editions of sorts. We have a we have a novel. Oops, just like kick some boxes. Kicking some boxes. So yeah, this is an actual, you know, novel. If you like your comic books without pictures. So a black canary novel, which is from their new DC Icons line, sort of. So there's a Wonder Woman, a Batman, a Catwoman, and a Superman. So. So we have book one of House of L, which is not to be confused with the future state of House of L book that comes out next month. I believe that this is a, going to be a three part series, so they'll do all these three together and then they'll probably put out a larger collected edition. So yeah, first Grav Novel in a trilogy exploring Krypton like never before through the eyes of two young people on opposite sides of an extinction level event. So from Krypton just Pre Superman. So, this isn't an entirely new. It's, I think we just got in some new copies of it, so we didn't talk about when it originally did come out. But this is the City of Bane uh, trade. That is all of it. So, if you didn't want to buy a big old dumb hardcover, yeah. you could just So, get a nice there was trade. a hardcover. This is the trade. So this is the whole. Uh, this kind of collects um, Batman seventy-five through eighty-five with Batman Annual number four. So it's the entire end part of Tom King's run on Batman before he is doing the, his final finale with the Batman Catwoman book. Yeah. So so for anyone who is reading. That Tom King run of Batman, that is going to be the, the the trade paperback volume that collects the, the end of it. So you could read that and then just get straight into Batman Catwoman. Yeah. But then there's, of course, like the associated other kind of like City of Bane tie-in issues and stuff. But that's the main book. And so then we get into Future State. So there are six different Future State books this week. We have Future State Flash number one. So here's it with its kind of creepy iron cover, which this does actually happen in the issue, or at least. So. That is Brandon Peters. No, this is Carrie Andrews. Brandon Peters and then the normal one. And so each one of the Future State books have a Wonder Woman 84 variant cover. Because that makes sense. Uh, books set in the future have variant covers of a movie set in the past. This is the Nicholas Scott 
Wonder Woman 84 variant cover. So then we have Harley Quinn. Well, features in Harley Quinn. So, main cover. Say the wrong artist for the very covers. And I can't find where it is. Because it looks like Jim Lee to me. It's right there in the front. Which one? That one. That's, That's not Jim Lee. That's Gary Frank. There you go. I was going to say, it looks like a Jim Lee, but generic. So Gary yeah. Frank makes sense. David, it sounds like it's like Jim Lee, but generic. Is it David Finch? Although, shout out Finch. That might, that, that variant cover he did this week might be the best David Finch art I've seen in a long time. Like it actually has depth to it and character. Yes. And so that's a Jenny Frizen. That is definitely a Jenny Frizen. And so, then we have the next Batman. Yep. So, the next Batman and Dark Detective are two of the only four issue um, Future State books. So, the so next, next Detective is a, number one is this week. Next week has Dark Detective number one. And then the week after that is Next, next Batman. Batman 2. And then issue 2. Dark Detective, then you yeah, shoot every, three. Yeah, every week is a Bat book. One week's the next Batman book. The next week after that's a Dark Detective book. Yeah. Yeah, and I know, I know specifically, <laughs> like, if you're a fan of, say, um, what, it, who is it, Barbara Gordon? She's the backup story. What did you figure out in Dark Detective? I think so. One and three? Yeah. And Red Hood is the backup story in D Dark Detective two and four? Yeah. Okay. And so, uh, uh, <clears throat> some of the books have second... Second, like two and three, kind of like so. In the next Batman, in this issue, you have a backup story featuring the Outsiders and then the Arkham Knights, which is being headed up by the character, um, the Arkham Knight. If you read that in the comic books or saw that character in, I think, the video game. So we have So we have the Copiel bearing cover for next Batman and the J. Scott Campbell Wonder Woman 84 bearing cover and next Batman also has a blank cover for it. Then we have Superman and Metropolis, which in this time period, um, a lot of the Future State books happen across multiple times, time periods. Uh, pretty much all the Batman books. So next Batman and Harley Quinn and Dark Detective and Nightwing and The Outsiders, Arkham Knight, all happen in the same time period. But Flash happens a couple years after the Batman stuff. <coughs> Superman of Metropolis happens five years after the Batman books happen in continuity. Scott. Sir. But you don't really need to know about that to really read any of the books. You can just read them. So, the Superman you know, you can even do the same of the Metropolis and the title, that is John Kent, uh, son of Clark and Lois. He is currently the protector of uh, Metropolis. And so, this includes two backup stories in featuring the Guardian and also 
Mr. Miracle, but it's the Shiloh Norman version of Mr. Miracle, not the Scott Free version. This is the In Hook Lee variant cover, and then and Superman Metropolis number one gets the Frank Cho, um, one of many four issue. And so... Oh, don't mind me. I'm just casual cosplay Daniel Nelson with my all-in for Future State books. What kind of loser is all-in for Future State? Uh, you are, and so is Chandler Durham. So, Brian Robinson, Daniel Nelson, and Chandler Durham are all-in. Hopefully I'm not doxing Chandler. <laughs> I don't think he minds. He's very passionate about these books. He was here yesterday picking them up. Unlike you, Nelson, he's a real fan. These are your books, by the way. So next up is Future State Swamp Thing, which is by Ron V, who will also be the writer of the Swamp Thing title post Future State. And then I think it's yeah, it's Mike Perkins on the on the art. And so Swamp Thing doesn't That's have a one room eighty four uh bearing camera to it. So yeah. most of them do, some of them don't. But Dima Ivanov is the variant cover. Hey Scott. Yes, sir. Did you know? This is my first time in since you guys moved up from Ballard. Hey uh, yeah, I heard that today too. <laughs> So this, the variant cover, shows kind of the new, the three new characters that you'll be introduced in Swamp Thing, Future State number one. So Swamp Thing takes place in the far future from most, it, there are like three titles that are in the distant future. Swamp Thing is one of them. Um, there is the um, Wonder Woman. It's like Wonder Woman Eternal, Wonder Woman Immortal. Immortal Wonder Woman, that's what it is. That one is taking place at the end of time. Starring Diane Prince because up next we have the Wonder Woman book starring the new Wonder Woman, which is Yara Flora. I think that's how you pronounce her name, or that's what it is. I'm sorry. The promo posters, the, they send us, the distributors send us usually, or the publishers. Okay, because I was wondering uh, if we got the 16 part ones. They send us those. From, uh, DC from DC directly, yeah. 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 Trying to see if they have anything, yeah. but um, so this is written and drawn by Joel Jones. I wish they would have made more. So yeah, this is another Ginny Prison variant cover. She has Two of them this week. And then who was doing the. Yeah, so. So that is the Adam Hughes one we're waiting for cover. And then one woman also gets a blank cover. So that's it. That's the books we have for the moment. Let me let me just cut in here for a second, Brian, because I did want to at least share some news with people. Um, so as as you can see here, obviously this is it for what we've got. Uh, keep an eye over on our Instagram account. Matt is going to be posting our picks for the week. Um, so my pick for the week 
It's not here yet. Uh, it won't be here till Friday. Um, but if you, my pick's here. But Brian's pick is here, and I know Scott's scoop is here. So, uh, so Brian, without getting into any spoilers at all today, what was your pick this week? Death Metal Seven. Ah, I am not surprised by that. They're uh, breaking the rule that it's a, it's a metal box. So, so once again, you're 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 back in the death metal because you've been enjoying it this whole time. Yeah. And as someone who has not been reading it, only enjoying it through through Dead your Judgment. lens. Uh, yes, through osmosis, I've enjoyed all of Dark Knight's Death Metal. Um, but admittedly, yeah, I, I read I read Seven with you this week. Last 15 pages of that book are very good yeah. uh, in that they really so, do give us context for what's next. So if you haven't been reading Death Metal but you want to know kind of where DC is going... Just read Seven. Like, really, you don't need to read anything else going into it if you don't want to. But if you just want to know what's next, the last 20 pages of that book is basically an You're going to be confused by the first 20 pages. Even if you'd read the first six issues, you still might be confused. It's whatever. It's fine. I because am glad you, we're in the future state. Because you'll be wondering why they keep referring to the Batman who laughs as the one who laughs, and why is Wonder Woman gold? And yeah, all of that stuff. It doesn't matter. But um, but yeah, like I like Brian was saying, if you just want to understand what these bottom two shelves are going to be, you do really want to at least pick up this Death Metal Seven. Doesn't doesn't matter what cover you get. The last it's all the same on the inside. So just get whatever one looks coolest. Um, but I would recommend actually picking that up if you do have interest in these. If only for the last 20 pages, basically as soon as like Wonder Woman, as soon as it's just white and you see Wonder Woman talking to another character, just read that. <laughs> you just, just you see the thing on the front. When you see something similar to that in the book, read from that point forward. So no spoilies. And, basically, yeah. <laughs> you can ignore this half of the book. Read that part of the book. And then read this half of the book. Um, but yeah, so so I, so yeah, I, I'm with Brian. I, I think that was a really interesting choice. Um, and then I I would actually like to to hear if Scott, do you have any any insights as to why the uh, the Future State One Room books seem to catch your eye this week? I know you're a big fan of Joelle Jones. Joelle Jones. So just just Joelle Jones, period. Yeah, she's if she's drawing, I'm gonna read it. All right, so and drawing, writing and drawing. So just like her Lady Killer run, just like her Catwoman book. Uh, if you are a fan of of hers, I mean, this. I know we said we weren't going to spoil stuff, but it's the first page. Um, so yeah, check check in with us at six o'clock over on twitch.tv slash arcane comics. We'll talk all about this. You'll hear Brian's a little bit further explanation of why he thinks this might be the best future state book to jump in on if you have not read anything yet. So we'll get into that, but uh, but yeah, so we do have some picks up here. Uh, keep an eye over on Instagram and uh, you'll see the rest of our picks or obviously here on Facebook we cross post and uh, you can see some of the other good stuff coming out this week I know and a I'll lot of us to pick up some in the next week yes yeah, you weekend. keep an eye out you that's the thing you 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 see the checklist now on the internet and then you go need them all gotta catch them all and you this is me doing my Daniel Nelson by the way gotta catch them all uh, and then you let you us know and we just get them all for you I gotta grow my beard out my neck beard out I'm not I not trying to shame you, Daniel. <laughs> your your beard is much nicer than mine. Um, but in any case, uh, I, I did just want to say thank you for everyone joining us uh, today for this first new comic book day of 2021, which in perfect fashion is half here, and we're just waiting on the rest of it. Uh, thankfully, there, thankfully, thankfully, books are on the way. Um, we've got uh, big releases, Iron Man Five maybe comes out this week. I don't know. There's, there's King and Black is happening. All sorts of stuff. Um, but realistically, Future State is the big, big news this week as far as the big two go. Um, so that I is think ready. I just knew that they, you know, they just wanted to give some leeway for, for Future State because they're they're big fans of DC. Yeah. Um, also, shout out Sleeper Pick, um, the Future State Swamp Thing book by V, uh, Rom V, and, and Mike Perkins, I believe, is drawing this. Um, I was very, very interested in this book, um, but I didn't want to jump on the Future State bandwagon because I'm not all in like Daniel Nelson or Chandler Durham or Brian K. Robinson over here. So I didn't want to seem like I was a poser, but I did actually, was actually really looking forward to this. Um, so if anyone is looking for maybe a Future State book that 
is unrelated to anything else, but you're just looking for something cool, I'd say, you know, Rom V does horror very well. All right. Uh, we all know he's a big Pokemon fan. <laughs> you do say gotta cat them all all the time. You, 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 you all, you and your cat puns, Daniel Nelson, we know you. We know you. Uh, where's, by the way, if you need to, if you need any information at all about Future State, or if you have any questions about Death Metal 7, please go over to Instagram.com, at Foil Nelson, and just message us there directly. Um, please feel free to send us pictures, links. If you've got a product that you're interested in us sponsoring, please send all information over to Instagram, dot com uh, at foil nelson we will take all of your uh your inquiries there thank you very much um but realistically uh, besides us making fun of our friend who's in the chat and is a diamond level top fan um we we do want to say thank you uh i i didn't i didn't say it earlier but happy new year to you michael if you're still hanging out with us um and to everyone else who has made 2020 is such a great year and uh, is making 2021 even better for us. We're still here and hopefully we'll see you shortly over on twitch.tv slash arcane comics uh, where like we will like it. Yeah, very, very shortly. Right, right after six, let's flip it on a um, little bit more casual experience and oh yeah, get ready for some spoilers because we're going to get into all of it. Uh, so we hope to see you there. Well. Like that, we're gonna get into that, we're gonna get into all like of that. that. We're gonna get get into all of that. That's what we're getting into, not this. That. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll see you then. And like the latter half of that, and then like oh, <laughs> just just all of that. Um, but as always, thank you for joining us. And Brian, is there anything you wanted to add before we uh, get ready to hang out with people over at Twitch.tv slash Arcane? Um, careful how you get phrasing there, Brian. <laughs> so, make sure uh, while you are over on twitch.tv slash arcane comics, you head over to professor underscore zero, uh, and you get a, get a like and a follow going on that one. Um, head over to instagram.com or Instagram and go to my long box life for more of this gentleman's fine, fine, um, you're doing, doing a lot of, a lot of toy photography lately. Yeah, That's very, very cool. So uh, we'll be doing that, and I, uh, I did last weekend was the first week of my 2021 celebration. Yes, yes. Get over to Twitch.tv/professor underscore zero. Uh, watch that opening opening stream that will give you the context for 2021, and uh, we're all we're all we're all waiting for that journey to start, Brian. We've we've taken our first step. Yeah. We're just looking to keep going. <clears throat> because uh, over the course of 2020, I'm going to. Chronicle my entire Chronicle greeting journey. So thirty for thirty, but it's Brian Nelson, so it'll be like ninety for ninety. <laughs> fifty-two for fifty-two. Oh, now you've done it. It's gonna be good. Now so I good. basically went. I had a little bit of like prehistory, and then I went from like ninety-one all the way to like last year, kind of yeah. hitting some like major milestones. Yes. And so this weekend on Saturday at I think like at 10 a.m. I think that's where I'm gonna try to like do them at like 10 a.m. Uh, we're going to get into the first chunk of comics, the original comics that I that I have. They're not the oldest comic books I have, but they're the earliest ones that I remember getting. And so we're talking about that stuff. On Saturday. Um, I think I can. I know we have some right back here. So yeah. We might have. Um. That's about probably, it. What we have today for Facebook. One. I feel like there's got to be a delinquent one somewhere. So come back in seventy-five minutes. Well, not 75 minutes here. 39 minutes over there. Um, you find it? Okay. You know, take a break, you know, get, get a beverage. Get a, get a green beverage, um, get some caffeine, make yourself some dinner. Um, you know, maybe 
maybe get a get a workout in, get your adrenaline going, cause we're not stretching. We're we're just get some gusher show. We're just oh um, okay. So <laughs> the gushers yogurt. I have to ask, was it was it just like like was it like they actually just put gushers in yogurt? No, there's like little like beads. They they okay. call them gushing beads. Okay, um, I I and was it's very pigmented. I was very interested when I saw that. So uh, we'll we'll talk about that more uh, maybe over at twitch.tv slash arcane comics in like 90 minutes or so. Uh, yeah, it's probably closer to 75 now since it's about 345. It's us. Let's go with ish. Six ish. So uh, yeah, hope to see everyone then. Thank you again. And uh, as always, uh, be, if you need anything, it'll be over over 90 minutes. Just 45, 5 to 6. 20 minutes. It's like two and a half hours. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, in any case, uh, 6 p.m. Pacific future, Standard Time. In the future, 9 p.m. We'll be stating, in our opinions, Eastern on. Standard Time. Uh, or at 3, 3 p.m. Hawaiian. Uh, we'll, we'll be available over on twitch.tv. We'll uh, get into it. So we hope to see everyone then. All right. Say bye, Brian. Bye, Brian.